Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Mass 5th Grade, Module 13, Lesson 4. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can use place value to compare and order decimals to thousands. And the learning objective is to compare and order decimals to thousands using place value. The prior learning is that students recognized that in a whole number, a digit in one place represents 10 times what it represents in the place to its right. Students read and wrote multi-digit whole numbers using base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. Students compared two multi-digit numbers using greater than, equal to, or less than symbols to record the results. All right, so moving into the lesson, we're on page 331. We have a step it out. This is the field gold percentage marked as FG percentage in basketball is found by dividing the numbers of baskets made, FG, by the number of baskets attempted, FGA. So Hector compares the field goal percentages for Thomas and Lucas, and those are the highlighted in yellow. For A, it says compare each place value, working from left to right until you find a digit that is different. In which place value are the digits different? So if we look at the ones place, notice how they are both zero. Then in the tens place, they're both fours. In the hundreds place, they're both sevens. It's not till we get to the thousands place that they're different. One is eight and one is three. So in what place value are they different? They are different in the thousands. Okay, and then for B, it says compare the digits in the place value that you found in part A. Use the less than symbol. So if we look over to the right in that little connect to vocabulary, the less than is facing with the smaller side on the left and the bigger side on the right. So almost like an alligator mouth. So if we're comparing these numbers, just the digits in the place value, and we're using the less than sign, we would have to put the number that's smaller first so that we can say three is less than because when we mark it this way, that symbol says less than. So three is less than eight. Then it's the opposite in C. Now compare the digits using the greater than symbol. If you look down in the next blue highlight here, it says greater than is the other way. So we would need to flip the number so that when we read it, it would be correct. So we would say eight now is greater than three. Both are correct. It just depends on which symbol you're using. You have to make sure that the number is on the right side. Remember, your bigger number is always with the open mouth, right? The bigger section with the bigger number and the smaller section with the smaller number. And then for D, compare the field goal percentages for Thomas and Lucas in two different ways. Use the less than symbol and use the greater than symbol. Okay, so I know that the three is smaller so that when I use the less than symbol, Lucas's number has to come first. So I'm going to write 0 0.473 and that's going to be the less than symbol. And then I'm going to write Thomas's number, which is 0 0.478. And I need to do it the other way too with the greater than. So then I'm going to start out with Thomas's number because it is greater than. So 0 0.478. And then that one's going to be the greater than. And then Lucas's number, which is 0 0.473. Just showing the contrast between the two different ways that you can do it. And then for E, which player has the highest field goal percentage? We know that that is going to be Thomas because his number is larger with the eight. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page to 332. And we're just gonna be doing above the red dotted line. So for step it out number two, it says the table shows the field goal percentages of three different players. And that shows it over in the blue chart to the right. So A says, what is the greatest place value position in which you find a digit that is different. So it's the same thing we did. Look at the ones, look at the tenths, look at the hundredths, look at the thousands. When's the first time you notice a difference? Write that place value down. 
And then for B, use your answer from part A and which player has the greatest digit in this place value position. So is there a number, is there only one person that has the bigger number in the difference? Write that person's name down. For C, move to the next lesser place value position. So we know it's not going to be the thousands, right? So go to the next place value. Now look at those two different numbers and compare those digits of the other two players. So which player has the greater digit in this place value position? So we know who's gonna be first, and then when you're going to the next question, compare the next two in that place value, which of those two now has the highest one, right? Their name for C. And then for D, order the players by name, by their field goal percentages from greatest to least. So who has the highest, write their name, second place, write their name, and then last place with the least, write their name. And that ordering will come underneath with a check your understanding. You are going to have to order some numbers, and then you're going to be comparing underneath with just that greater than, less than. All right, go ahead and just do number two for right now, and then we will come back and solve these together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great, let's go ahead and go over these problems. So for A, we want to find out what place value is that first change. So in all the zeros, that's in the ones place, right? They're all zeros. Then look at the tenths place. All three have a four. Then go in the hundredths place value. We have a four, ooh, then a five, and then another four. So this five is the one that makes a difference. Okay, so in what position or what place value did we find that first change? It is going to be in the hundredths place value. And I'm going to erase that just so we can see it a little bit better. All right, then using your answer from part A, which player has the greatest digit in this place value position. Well, the five, that five change belonged to which player? That belonged to Robinson. So we're just gonna write his name. All right, and then C, it says move to the next lesser place value position. So now we're moving to the thousandths and compare the digits to the other two players. So now we're looking at the four and the seven and the four and the nine, because we know this one's already out because we already used it. So which player has the greater digit in this place value? The four and the seven or the four and the nine, right? Four and the nine is going to be bigger. So that player is going to be alibi. All right, now we want to order the players by name by their field goal percentages from greatest to least. So we know the biggest one was Robinson. And then we found out after that that was going to be Alibi. Then the one after that is Ortega. That was the lowest percentage. All right, go ahead and use the rest of these problems to figure out the rest of this lesson, and I will see you back for module 14.